Okay, so Windows 10 has this great feature called Game Bar, which allows you to just like easily record your gameplay clips. Okay, so I have a short gameplay clip of Hades here. So this is just a simple and a quick like 30 second clip. <clears throat> And then again, using the built-in photos app, what we can do is I can just click on this edit and create here. And because the, I might not want the whole video, I might just want to highlight something. So maybe I'll just move it over here to the center. Just take some off here. Yep, let's just, let's just finish off with the kill cap here. Okay, so let's just, yeah, let's take about the last 15 seconds. Okay, so I can just select a start and end point, and then this is basically I'm just trimming off the video. So it was it's quick, it's easy, and poof, that's it. We now have this short video clip of the original one. This is already a trimmed one, but you notice that there's something different. It feels a bit slower. <clears throat> it's not as fluid as the original, and that's because if we look at the file info. We can notice that the frame rate here is 30 frames per second. Whereas if I open up the original file, the frame rate is actually 72 frames per second. <clears throat> uh, it's at that weird 72 frames per second because of my monitor is uh, 144 hertz. But any case, in any case, is that the original is much smoother than the than the one that uh, that we get from trimming it. So obviously, we would like to have a super smooth video as well. So let's see what we can do about getting another, using another program to quickly trim off this, uh, the video and well, we want to have just about as smooth and quick uh, and an experience as what the built-in Windows 10 tools give us. Okay, so wh what can we do about our little problem? First, we're going to go download FFmpeg. Now, FFmpeg is basically the Swiss Army knife of video editing utilities. Okay, so it is very featureful. It can do a lot of things and, and, and it can do a lot of... It pretty much does everything you go, if, that you want to do when you edit video. Okay, a lot. Maybe not everything, but a lot. But uh, it's a bit finicky to use, okay? So here we are at the main uh, ffmpeg.org website. <clears throat> so I'm going to say we're going to download Windows and we're going to pick a distributor. And here I'm going to choose, uh, so I came to this distributor and I'm going to choose this one of these, these uh, releases. Uh, let's go for this shared release, okay? And we've downloaded the file. Okay, so now that I downloaded the file, I'm going to just copy it into this folder. Let me just move the file over to this folder here. And I'm going to extract this copy, this FFmpeg that I have. Let me just move this out of the way. I am going to extract this. <clears throat> okay, so here we have a bunch of files. The the folder, so we don't really care, we, we don't care about all the other things. We're just gonna come straight into this bin folder. Now depending on what you've downloaded, it might end up only having the exe files and uh, not these other DLLs. But whatever the case is, what we want to do is we want to take everything inside this bin folder. Okay, so we're just going to just copy this bin folder. I'm going to move it back out to the... I'm just going to move back outside. I'm going to just open up a new window again. I'm going to make a new folder that we call our... Just name this our quick clip. Okay, so I'm, I've copied the files here. Now, the main issue with FFmpeg is that FFmpeg, for all its power, it is a command line tool. So, 
unless you really you know what you're doing you can pretty much just type in everything to do video conversion and everything but uh well most people definitely won't be able to do that so what you do is in order to make full use of ffmpeg you need to get a front end and that's basically what i did i wrote a front end for ffmpeg which is specifically focusing on uh, clipping video. So I'm going to just go to my website. Okay. And we're just going to go and download. Let me just close that. We're just going to go and download this. The, my program is called M2 Quick Clip. Okay. We're going to download it. And once we downloaded the zip file. So you might. So here's the zip file that I downloaded. It could be a different version by the time you watch this video and go to the website. But in any case, we're just going to extract this zip file. Because there's only going to be one file in there and there will be this exe. <clears throat> and so how are we going to, how does this work? Very simple. All we have to do is double click on the program to run. Now, you might get a Windows 10 smart screen warning that because I'm not paying for a code signing cert. So bear with that for the first time. Just ignore the warning and you have this. And now what we can do is I will just bring up my videos. I'll just drag that same file that we did late previously. So we have a preview here. I can just like the... In the other program, I can just mark which portion I want the the clip to be. Or I can just do a quick clip and say I want 5 seconds from the point or 15 seconds from this point. Okay, so I can just clip it very easily. And uh, I have some other options which is I want to limit the frame rates to FPS to 60. Because you can see that right now my frame rate is at 72. Which, if I try to upload it in tw to Twitter, this won't work. So I can enable a uh, limit FPS. I haven't had the reason to limit the video bitrate, but the option is here if you want to. And of course, we can enable hardware acceleration if we want to. And because I have a RTX, I can just enable the NVIDIA. And we'll press the create output file. And okay, it's done. And we can open, and here is the file that was created. Okay, so it looks, it looks better, definitely looks better than the one that was edited using the photos tool. And if we go look at the file info, here we go, 60 frames per second. So great. So we, we have a file that's smooth. And ready to be uploaded and we very easily clipped it using this new this tool that I wrote okay great so hopefully this this will help some of you with your video uploads uh, leave your comments about the program after you tried it out leave your comments below uh, let me know if there's any other simple features that you might want uh, I, I think I've pretty much solved the whole what how do I quickly trim a video file question? So I'm not I'm not intending to write an actual video edit editor. I just want to I just want to chop the video up. That's it. Okay, uh this is Marauders. I will see you all in the next video. Okay, so one more tip for you to quickly access the program to edit your file. So you can just right click on the video file, select open with, then choose another app, more apps, and then look for another app on the PC. Then go to where you downloaded the exe. And now when you right click, you'll see that the program is in the open with folder and you can just easily open with to open the 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 trimmer so you can very quickly have access to it okay have fun enjoy